All right, now we're going to make uh, an ancient Italian recipe. It's called uh, la torta di ceci. Uh, familiarly, people call it uh, calda calda, which means like hot hot. It's an ancient recipe that like uh, it used to be made like like hundred years ago or something, and uh, it was transferred like from generation to generation and. Like some people were like uh, making restaurants, okay? Like you know, and in the restaurants that were serving that stuff. And at some point, okay, um, like some guy says that he wants to trademark uh, the recipe, okay? So like uh, the ancient, the real recipe, it's now illegal to teach it. But there are alternatives way to make it and. Uh, so I'm going to show you one of them, and this method is perfectly legal because it's not the trademarked recipe. It's just uh, an ingenious way of getting to the same result. Okay, now first you need this kind of uh, big metal thingy, okay? And then you take oil, okay? This is olive oil, okay? And you put a little bit in there, okay? It has to be, like, everywhere or else, like you know, the stuff is gonna, like, uh, stick, okay? So just, like, okay? Everywhere, like that, okay? Now, the next thing you need is, of course, uh, a blender, okay? So, first you need two cups, we're gonna use this cup, okay? Two cups of something called, uh, Farina di Ceci, okay? You can buy that in, if you go to Italian restaurants. Like in Montreal, there's a lot of... Uh, not, not Italian restaurants, uh, Italian shops, okay? There's a place in Montreal where there are, like, a lot of Italians. And, like, there are lots of Italian shops. And they sell this stuff. So you ask for Farina di Ceci, okay? So you put two cups... Uh, it's not very easy when you're holding a camera with one hand. Okay. Okay, that's one cup. Then another cup. And four cups of water. Okay, so that's like one, two, three, and four. Now you can use like this weird like liberal water that you buy like in like huge bottles and all that stuff. Uh, but you know, it's really just tap water like all this like source water and everything besides you know if it was real source water you know the stuff you buy like for fifty dollars a bottle okay then it wouldn't really be good because like source water it means like they just grabbed it from a lake or something okay and there's like you know lots of trucks you know that uh... you know do weird things like you know they put like uh... weird stuff like you know in the the lakes and like garbage and you know stuff like that so the normal water that you get from like the tap at least you know it's got like filtered and and everything uh... now you need uh... a teaspoon of uh, salt in the mixer okay there's salt i don't really have a teaspoon but we can like approximate a teaspoon must be uh, uh, well, kind of like, okay, we're going to take this frappuccino and, okay, and we're going to use the cap as a teaspoon because it's more or less the size of a teaspoon, maybe a little bigger, so we're going to, we're not going to fill the whole thing, okay? Okay, that, that's more or less a teaspoon, okay? Well, you put a teaspoon of salt, holy shit, I think I dropped the... No, I didn't drop. Okay, I thought, like, the whole thing just fell on the ground. 
it just felt like on this like stuff there and then a little bit of oil in the mixer I know there's already oil there but that's just to prevent the whole thing from like sticking so a little bit of oil um, okay maybe a little more not too much just a little uh, a little bit okay and now we're gonna mix the thing or blend or like whatever you know all these weird verbs you know they're really useless okay I mixed it quite a bit, but it's okay. I mean, uh, the more you mix it, the better it gets, I suppose. All right. Okay. Now you put it. Ah. Okay, in the stuff. Now what you do is you put the thing at 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, here. Okay, at 350, and you leave it in there for one hour. All right. Well, it's been an hour, so we're gonna stop this. Um, I think when I made this, uh, I put a little bit too much oil, uh, okay, so like you have to put oil everywhere uh, on the metal thingy, but like you can't, you know, put too much because um, the plate's still a little wet, anyway, so anyway, uh, I can't touch this with my hands because it's like, uh, hot. All right. It, it's better if you eat it like after a couple of hours. You let it rest, okay? Because right now it's it's still like too early. But you, you can you can eat it. But after a while, it's gonna be a bit better. See, like when you try to cut it, you know there's like little weird stuff. So it's better if you wait a little. But Whatever, you can still have some pieces of, of it. All right. And the uh, last important thing, when you eat it, you need some pepper. Okay, so you don't eat it just like that. You gotta put some pepper on it. Okay, pepper. And put pepper on it, like that. And it's ready. You can eat it like that. It's it's very good. <laughs>